today we're going to show you a wonderful easy way to make ciabatta. A lot of people are afraid to make this bread but it is really really so simple and easy to do. Our key ingredient today is a bivalve canola and olive oil blend. It's about an 80-20% blend of olive oil and canola oil and gives a wonderful flavor to this bread. Equal amounts of flour and water is what makes this ciabatta recipe a real winner. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, one packet of dry yeast, and then our key ingredient, olive and canola oil. And then we're gonna start this off slowly. Add all of the water. Now this is gonna be a wet dough. Once you think it's gonna to be too much, that is exactly the right amount. Okay, wonderful. Cover it with cling wrap, put it in a warm, dry place, and let it double in size, about 25 to 30 minutes. There we go. This one has doubled in size now. You can see it's got lots of volume. Very alive and it's very runny, but it's exactly what we want. We're also going to use a little bit of extra flour just to dust the yep. top. And it also gives it a beautiful texture at the end. It does, and what happens, because we're putting it into a very, very hot, hot oven, oven yes. it will actually um, burn a little bit, or yeah. like caramelize a little bit. So we're yeah, gonna which do- Which you want that flavor. And basically just, pinch off yeah. a bread. Pull that closer and if we can just spray it with some of that Be Well um, cooking spray to make sure that it doesn't stick. Just grab the bread like this and turn it around like that. So we're going to put them into the bread. And you can do this with anything. You can use fresh herbs, you can use black olives. Yeah, you whatever can use, you've got growing in the garden. Yeah, or right? sun-dried tomatoes or anything. Available. Just kind of tuck the edges of the bread underneath so that your filling stays inside. And then a nice little bit of an addition at the end is just to put some coarse sea salt flakes on top, which gives it that wonderful crunchiness when you bite into it and a little bit of a savory taste. The great thing about this bread is that you don't have to prove it for a second time. You just put it straight into the oven. It will have a crispy outside and a soft inside with big air pockets. Beautiful. It's been about 25 to 30 minutes now and our bread is ready. Here we go. Just look at that. Beautiful. Fantastic. So we're going to do this with a little bit of Be Well canola and olive oil blend. And then we also want to do a little bit of balsamic vinegar. So we're going to show them what this bread looks like yeah. inside. Can't wait. Lovely crunchy sure. on the outside. Beautiful. Lovely and soft rosemary coming through. We're going to taste the bad boy. There we go. There you go. Balsamic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Genius. Well done. <laughs>